Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at Oracle Apex and three different ways that we can deploy a package. Uh, for, so for starters, we'll go with the simplest one, which is SQL commands, right? This is probably the one that you've, you've used the most. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go out and grab my code here. Uh, I can go back here. I can paste it in. Uh, now, the tricky thing is that you have to kind of create my specification first. So go ahead and run the spec. And then I can paste in the body. All right, we see that it both created, right? So this is kind of the first way. Uh, and it does a pretty good job spitting out errors, that sort of thing. So, okay, so now let's take a look at the second way. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'll just go back into our object browser over here and we'll drop it out. So go ahead and drop this, all right. So the second way would be inside of the object browser. This is kind of a, uh, one of my favorite ways other than the command line, but you can go ahead and create a new package here. Create the spec. All right, so now we'll go back to our code and I'll just grab comments. I'll create the specification. repeat the same steps again for deployment. Um, but what I really like about it is, is not only that you can uh, you know, paste it in and do save and compile, um, and it'll tell you. What I, what I like is when you have an error here, it's kind of a nice UI. So let's intentionally have an error. It'll tell you the exact line here where it's breaking, give you pretty good you know, error stuff to work through. So, so go ahead and drop this one last time. The last way is really uh, in SQL Workshop once again, uh, but with this time we're going to go ahead and uh, create a script, or do a SQL script, and we'll upload the script. So in, in this case, I do a lot of uh, the development on my side. Um, you know, locally I'll, I'll clone the code. Uh, I mean, or you know, save the code into Git, especially if I'm collaborating with other people. Uh, when I go to run it, I can simply upload. And we can go over here, click the edit button. We can run it right here. And you can see the same thing. Uh, kind of a nice output, what it created, um, that sort of thing. Um, something else that's kind of cool is you can go in here and edit it. So you can actually, you know, add comments. You can save your script. Similarly, you, can, you could download it. If I go back in, there you go, and then you can quickly rerun. So, regardless of how you like to run your, your, your you know, create a package in, in Apex, these are three different options that, uh, you know, are at your disposal for the way you like to work best.